Hello guys. So I'm looking to update my system, basically build another one. So what I did actually, I ordered this gaming uh, Z690 Plus Wi-Fi D4. Uh, this one, it's from online, right? And after seeing the box, I uh, went to a local store and got this one. So basically, this is the same motherboard. One came from online, one came from the local store. And the reason that I did that actually because the online box looked a little bit funny to me. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So when I got the box actually, what I noticed is this box was sealed pretty good. But if you look really, really carefully, you see over here, there is a double seal. So there is the ASUS logo with a sticker on top of another one. Now the box from the local store. Turn this around. It doesn't have that. It came just like that. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to open them and we can check it out. See, these both motherboards are supposed to be brand new. So this is sold online as brand new. This is sold at the local store as brand new. All right. So we're going to open and compare them side by side, see if there, there are any differences. Okay. So let's open the local one first. Because it doesn't have a seal. Okay. So this is the box right here. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to examine them really, really carefully, making sure there are any differences when we'll notice them right away. So let's open the online one now. So I'm going to open this really, really carefully because it's a double sticker. So I want to see what if it's a double sticker. Normally, what is actually the one that under was broken. Okay, so if you see. Okay right there okay looks like the sticker that was previously under it right here it was actually broken at point, one point in time so we don't know if this actually was happened during shipment or at the factory and they reseal it so let's open the box and check it out so this one came with a sticker but it's not a single, it's a double sticker, a sticker on top of another. So it looked like the sticker under it was broken at one point in time. So let's open the box. Oh. Okay, so this is the one from online. This is the one from a local store. What I noticed right away, the logo, Type Gaming from online, it's upside down versus the one from the local store. This is kind of the only difference right now. Okay. So let's go further. Okay. Let's check what's over here. Okay. This is... Okay. So this is the antenna that comes with the thing and this is the SATA cable. It's going up over here. Okay. Just the antenna. No cable. That's interesting. So this one comes online, comes with the set and that. And what we want to do, we want to examine the, make sure those these boxes were not opened before. So looks looks like it's sealed. It was not opened before. Same over here. Okay. Nothing here. Okay. And now that's a difference over here. It looks like on this one, there is a number imprinted. 152R from the opposite side. Okay. So the local one has a number in here. The online one doesn't. Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're going to take the motherboards out of the box and see what's going on there and examine them side by side. Okay, so the motherboards are out. This is from online. This is from the store. 
this is from the store sorry this is from online so let's see what else is in the box the online one okay so we have the book we have the certificate of reliability we have some stuff in here looks like there are two bags with some kind of plastic stuff in it and this is the bolts for the m2 so we have one two three small bags and these are the stickers with some information okay now the local store one let's take this out okay so this is the cable okay so remember this cable on the other box was together with, with the antenna the local store it's separate and we have the same small boxes here and we have the manual which the other one had it too and we have the certificate on authenticity stickers and stuff so it looks like paperwork it's all the same plus a disc with the drive this one didn't have a disc with the drive yeah it has it so the other one has the disc with the drive so when it comes to accessories everything is there exactly the same the only difference is the sata cable on the online was on was packed with the antenna this sata was uh, packed separately okay so let's go to the actual motherboard now i'm gonna turn them upside down and check the stickers so let's start with the online one okay so this is the online one so it looked like this online one the one that i got online was sealed at one point in time right here the seal was open and then the box was resealed with another okay let's check the one from the local store okay the one from the local store it has only one sealer tape and it doesn't look like it was broken which is a big plus so i have big doubts right now when it comes to the one that i got online okay so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna get the motherboards out of the static bag and we're gonna check them what else we want to check for just want to make sure that the indentation in the paper bag in the plastic bag it actually goes with the holes so on both sides they are kind of identical so the static bags they do not look used that's a big plus okay okay so having doubts about this motherboard what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna examine especially the online one see if it was used before so what we want to do first we want to check the mounting holes see if there are any indentation on them whoa what's up with this flux here whoa tons of flux here too flux here too okay flux around the capacitors the one doesn't have flux and the last one right there okay so this is the online one as you see there was flux applied to the mounting mounting holes let's just compare really fast this one with this one there is quite a bit of flux on the motherboard oh especially around the cpu area you can see it compare this area right here all the spots let's check it out to the other one this one it's clean okay so i'm getting closer so 
this is from a local store this is from online okay again when we look at mounting holes we notice flux around the mounting holes and a lot of it what this might suggest that this motherboard was probably used return returned and this flux was used to cover the indentations that were left by the mounting screws and it looks like probably some repair was done on this board if we look around the cpu right here you see what i'm talking about all this bright flux around the next to the cpu right here it's a lot of it and also this is in other places yep this is what i'm talking about quite a bit of flux looks like some repairs were done on this motherboard or there was just a sloppy job we don't know okay flux in here too so let's examine so this one has tons of flux around it this one was purchased online and this one right here was purchased at a local store so let's examine the local store there is no flux around the mounting holes as you see no flux around these capacitors here again no flux here nothing in here no flux there either okay looks like clean new motherboard and around the cpu again nothing bright everything looks good compare that to all the brightness that's going on around the cpu here see this area versus this this area right here so this versus this so yeah this is a concern when i see stuff like that so this motherboard online one was sold as new this is sold as new too so if we can compare remember the box for the online one had a double double sticker right here which looks like the one that was under it was messed up with broken and reused this one had the bag resealed so definitely this was opened something was done to the motherboard and then the motherboard was resealed while the one from the in-store didn't have a sealer on the box but had a sealer on a seal on the st static bag so it was and that seal that uh, seal plastic seal on the static back was not uh, broken so this is guys what you want to look for when you get a motherboard and it gives you kind of doubts especially if it's sold as new when you buy a refurbished one i think for a refurbished one all this stuff around it's kind of a given because it looks like the motherboard was used and then probably was sent back to the manufacturer for repairs so the manufacturer repaired it and put it back on the market the only thing i think this was supposed to be sold as a refurbished one and not a new board while the one that came directly from the assembly line and not used doesn't have any sign signs of being used before so pay attention to the mounting holes see if there are no indentation in them if there are no indentation in the mounting holes the next thing you want to look is see if there is some flux spilling around because this is what they use to cover the stuff right so if that's there is flux around that's a question another thing is look carefully on the board if you're going to see other flux spilling because what the name means probably again some components were replaced and that means this motherboard probably at this point one point in time was used and returned back to the store so that's all the information i want to give you guys i hope uh, this is going to help you when you're going to end up in the same situation like me like i said when i got this motherboard online the double uh, sticker 
the ceiling the box uh, raised concerns concerns and i um, said okay let me get one from a local store and compare it so what i'm going to do now the um, online one it's going to go back because as i said it was sold as new so if you pay the price for a new one you're supposed to get a new one if you pay the price for a refurbished one you get a refurbished one not the other way around okay hope to see you guys around if you have any questions feel free to shoot me a message and have a nice day